Hello, so I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of my favorite synth called Diva by a company called Yuhi. I hope I pronounced that right. Basically, for me, it's the best soft synth instrument that you can buy. To be honest, I use it on every single production and I use it for a lot of demos. If you've watched my videos, you'll know all about that. So what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to right click on the preset section and set up an init patch just like that. And what I'm going to do is explain to you the different modules and sections of Diva. Diva is really great for sound design and it's modeled on a lot of 80s and 70s synths. It's got different voices and different voice options, triple VCO, dual VCO. Let's just start by looking at this a triple VCO. Now basically what you see here are the different sound engine option so if we just go to the cutoff and increase that to the maximum you've got the different volumes so you've got volumes for every sound we're going to bring the volumes down for all the free voices but except for the first one the first one we'll just have that one to max so we'll just hear what it sounds like by itself <laughs> by the way i've got a little spectrum on the bottom so you can see the shape So you've got this kind of saw wave default. So I can move this to a triangle just like this. And by the way, it's not a snap in. You're actually moving between the saw wave shapes and it's not going to snap in. So we'll, for example, we'll move this to a triangle. And just move it all the way back down here. Anytime on any button in Diva, all you have to do is double click it and it will go back to its default. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a second voice. We're going to introduce a second voice in here. They're going to be the same saw waves, the same shape, basically. And we're going to just bring this volume all the way up. So let's just take a listen. So it's the same. It's a double voice, but they're exactly the same shapes. What we're going to do now is detune and play at the same time. So you can see there that the second voice is being detuned and you've got obviously this wide sounding sound. But you can do other things, obviously you can change the shape completely so we can bring the second sound in as a saw wave. And we can even increase the octave or decrease the octave as we need. And we can actually just reduce the volume, the first volume of the first VCO sound and just keep the second one on. Oh, I forgot to mention there are feedback and noise options, so we can just add a little bit of those. And we can slowly introduce the louder sound, which sounds like the first VCO. So we'll just double click on those, we'll remove those options there. And why not bring in a third sound so we bring the volume up for the third sound. And let's just detune this the other way a little bit. Super cool. So we just switch detune off on both of them. What we can do is look at the modulation options. So you've got a tune modulation option and a shape modulation option. A shape is basically oscillating waves, LFO type waves. And tune is how you can modulate the tune of one against the other. So if you're familiar with operator, that's basically what it does. It, it basically one modulates, one sound modulates the other. So let's just demonstrate that. These three knobs here, they just basically represent, you know, which row you're in. So for example, I want to oscillate the first row, the tune mod of the first row. Let's select LFO2, which is this mod here. Let's just take a quick listen to how that's going to sound. We haven't changed anything, so let's just increase this a little bit. It's quite sensitive, so we don't want to do it too much, so let's just reduce it a little bit. Okay, but if we reduce the volume of that first to sound, Maybe just introduce the second sound there like that. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty mental, but what we can do is double click there and click on the wave form for the saw wave there. So as you change this, this is going to modulate that, that first sound. 
Uh, let's switch that off. And similarly, with this shape mod, we can do something similar. We'll just select that first one again. Let's just... Let's just change the shape there. So that's all super cool. And as you can tell, there's quite a lot you can do here. Let's just go now into the filter section, the cutoff ladder section. You have a lot of different options here for VC cutoff and filter, but I'm gonna just stick to the default one, which this is this cutoff. So just like the other options, you can select all of the different options here. For example, we want to select LFO here and just change that cutoff there. So you've got a cutoff feature that is basically linked to LFO too. Okay, and then let's go into the ADSR section. Similarly, you've got the free analog option, well, free options, analog, digital, and ADS, which is combined. Then you've got this release button there. So if you want more control over release, you'll select digital. So let's increase the release there. And we have the second line there. So let's just do the same thing. Uh, this one's actually analog. We're just gonna increase that attack, increase the cutoff. Let's increase the velocity of the second uh, ADSR. Okay, and the other thing that I wanted to show you very quickly, which I think is fantastic, is the effects. The effects for me are just incredible on Diva. So let's just start with the chorus effect. So you can just see how by building up this sound design and building up each section, you get to this incredible payoff. Now within the chorus effect, you do have three different options. So you have dramatic. And then you have ensemble, which is a really very wide orchestral type. And then you can add a second effect on top of that chorus too. But chorus tends to go well with something like a plate or a delay or even a phaser. Let's increase the wetness of that. And let's just take a quick listen to the delay effect. In the tuning section, you've got a hell of a lot of options. I'm not going to go through all of them. You got these different modes like mono, poly, duo, poly. I mean, they're just basically everything that you, but you want. And if you want to really go even deeper dive, you can go into the modification section. You can do some glide here, vibrator. You got the different types of glide. You got rate and time. And then in here, you've got an arpeggiator, not one I use that often, but it's um, it's actually pretty powerful. Let's switch the effects off so we can just hear the arpeggiator a bit better and the glide off. Double click to get your defaults. So in this mode, you've got some pretty good options. Uh, you've got up, down, random, played. Played's pretty good, so let's just... Hey, if you restart at five, you get some pretty interesting sounds. And then you got the different types of progression. You got serial, round, leap, repeat. So let's go leap. And of course, this is this is synced to your uh, DAW. And then you've got multiply and swing. This is the rate then. Pretty nice little swing section as well. <laughs> that is your basic diva deep dive. And 
as you can see, it can get really, really deep in terms of its functionality. What I wanted to say though, is it's actually half price. So this is the message really I wanted to spread today that the whole thing is half price. If you go into plugin boutique, I've got a link below. You don't often see Diva at half price, maybe once or twice a year. So it's definitely a good opportunity to go in and get it. It's not just this, there's also Repro, Hive, all the products that you he make are currently half price. All I can say, if you've got any questions about Diva, definitely go into the comments, ask me, and I'll be really happy to help because I think this is just a fantastic little instrument. Okay, have a nice day. Bye.